welcome to Eye on Ireland. I'm Neil Elworthy. Well, we're into March already, and it's that time of the year. It's Fair Trade Fortnight. Dennis, tell us a little bit about Westford Town being a fair trade town. We, we got our designation after about uh, less than a year and a half's work where about eight people worked in really hard fashion to get designated as a town. You have to meet about six different criteria which involve having a flagship catering outlet for um, coffee which is the fair trade product we focus on in Ireland uh, mostly. Um, and we also had other catering outlets. Then we also had to have a given number of retail outlets selling fair trade products. And we did an audit and asked people to increase the number of fair trade products they had. We're not at all happy yet that we're doing in Ireland anything like the amount of fair trade that they do in some other European countries. If you look at the UK, 30% of all the bananas are fair trade certified. And the figure for bananas in Switzerland is 50%. We had to do an educational programme in the secondary and primary schools here in town. We had to get the borough council um, to uh, pass a, a motion declaring Wexford a fair trade town. And we also had to do a media campaign. Now, we're, we're in your gallery, so yeah. I take it your background is as an artist. Yeah, I, 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 I've worked in the arts. Not, not as an artist, I'm a, po I'm a poet. And um, I, I run galleries and I've run around the arts centre here locally for a long period of time. So. Um, I'd be very committed to fair trade and I'd been involved in the fair trade movement way, 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 way back before it was even a movement in Ireland. Um, we, when we were, I was locally from under my stairs selling uh, Nicaraguan fair trade coffee and that was on the foot of a visit to Wexford back in the 80s by seven coffee workers from Nicaragua. One of the interesting things I remember happening during the kind of campaigning for this, we would often get uh, people from the farming community saying, well, what about fair trade for Irish farmers? And our response was always, when you start going coffee and pineapples and tea, we'll be fully behind you. But we actually do believe in fair trade for Irish farmers because we believe that farmers should get a fair price for their goods, both here in Ireland and when they sell them internationally. What is fair trade? Fair trade is an international movement uh, to uh, improve the lot of um, producers in the third world by people in the first and second world paying a fair price uh, for the products they buy. Uh, it also involves uh, the receiving country paying a small extra bonus on that money, which is called a social dividend, which helps people beyond the actual producer. So it will help the village in which the producer lives by maybe building a schoolroom, maybe by installing a freshwater well, maybe building a road. Uh, the social dividend on each product is quite small, but when it's all grouped together, it can significantly help uh, a village in, in the developing world. The common products in the fair trade movement are tea, coffee, cocoa, chocolate, bananas, pineapples, all the things you imagine being produced in the what's called the third world, what I prefer to call the developing world, plus things like cotton, which there's been a particular emphasis on over the last two or three years. In Ireland, we're very lucky to have you know, hundreds of people in fair trade towns all around the country who during the fortnight go out and organise events to raise awareness. This year they're painting their town. They're painting their town to promote fair trade products. They're also organising events with visitors and they're organising educational and awareness raising events in schools. Fair trade isn't a panacea for everything. It helps. It helps a small amount but it definitely helps. And that kind of really sort of says you're not changing the earth fully here, but you are making a small difference. And if we can all realise that we can make a small difference by just our day-to-day -day lives, then that makes that makes a difference in the long term. So that's kind of some of the way I think about I think about it, and I suppose the way the movement thinks about it. With cotton, as for coffee, bananas, cocoa, other products that Fairtrade works with, that people have extraordinarily difficult lives in countries like Senegal, other countries in West Africa, uh, in trying to earn a living from something that we, all of us in Ireland, have on our backs on a daily basis. The reality is that there's virtually no fair trade cotton products made available in Ireland at the moment, and we think there should be. My hope for the future is to see more and more farmers 
realize their dreams by getting more healthcare facilities, building schools to send their kids to school. I mean like more revenue for the farmers and more premiums to realize like more project. Some people in the fair trade movement want things to be uh, maybe far more radical than that and other people just just want to do a small bit. So some place in between is where the movement actually is. Um, I think probably in the long term the aim of the fair trade movement should be that it just does away with itself. That fair trade then exists and we don't have to campaign for it anymore. Uh, that may be a good while away. <laughs>